In this video I'm going to show you how to remote desktop um, across the internet to your PC. Um, so first of all, you're going to need to connect to your router because you're going to need to reconfigure your router so that um, you will get your computer will get the message that it wants to be connected to. Uh, and the usual way to do this is via this address 192.168.0.1 um, connect to that uh, you'll have to enter username and password usually um, you'll have to go to advanced settings um, usually under it will be under security usually but just find something uh, that's called port forwarding it, it could be anywhere depending on your make the make and model of your router. Okay, so for remote desktop connections uh, such as the Windows remote desktop connection, this one, uh, we're going to need to set up a new one. It, it might be in here, but for, for the Virgin it isn't. So just, just give it a name uh, like that. Uh, you'll need to give it a start port and the port is 3389 3389 and it is just that port uh, and so the end port is also the same port this is the port that uh, the RDP uses to connect to the protocols that it uses uh, will be TCP and UDP so these will be needed selected and select the IP address of your computer, your local computer uh, to find this out um, press Windows R, type in CMD, then IP config, press enter, and it is this address, IPV address 192.168, and so I'll just copy that, um, and it was I'm going to put one number in here. It was 19, because this is uh, the the computer that you want it to forward to. Uh, and then all you do is just add the rule. Okay. Once that is done, it's not over yet. Uh, just sign out. Your router might flicker. It might turn off and restart. Um, you ne then need to allow allow access to your computer. Um, so just search in allow or search remote into your into your search bar. Uh, remote our access to your computer and just click that. Um, then you'll need to click remote desktop allow remote connection to this computer. Okay, uh, you can select this option here. Uh, just just an, it's just a bit more safe really. Uh, and then select users that you'd like to have access to this. You're automatically uh, enabled this. So if you wanted to add other users to be able to connect to it, then add them hit there. Click apply, then OK. Um, and that is it. Uh, so go to another PC, just bring up your remote desktop window, which you can get up by pressing Windows R, then MSTSC, then OK, and that will just bring up the window. Then type in the IP address of your computer, which will be, um, for example, 81252.64, uh, that, uh, and you'll click Connect. Um, to find this out, just go to Google, Type in IP as a search, and it will tell you tell you the IP address of your local computer. Um, then just press connect, and it will connect to your computer. So I would do it, but I don't really want to give out my IP address. Uh, so good luck, you.